Previously on Dream Team. Naismith, that's the last time you come to training. The last thing these players need is to see a crop ex England international on the sidelines. All upcoming transfers have been cancelled. Pino, I'm so sorry. You knew about this all along, didn't you? Nesmith, this is a training camp we are going to. Because you're only fit for putting your feet up. We did that in the house somewhere. Everything's gonna be great, baby. I know, I know. You Good luck. Good luck, gorgeous. Okay. You're better than all of them. <laughs> See ya. That's a big picture, so yeah, that was good. Us. You can't tell me you ain't got tar on your hands. Yeah. I'm already at the bar. Is this it? Where's the hotel? Hey, I'm not staring at anything less than a four star, you know. <laughs> Pete, good to see you, mate. Good man. Good, good to you. see you. Huh? Good. So you're gonna tell us what this place is? Boys! Welcome to boot camp! Mr. Fisher here is going to put you through your paces for the next 48 hours. He has my total authority. So when he says jump, you jump. Now we've had a long drive. And we've got even longer two days ahead of us. So I've arranged a bar. One night only. Tomorrow we start work. Tonight's your own. Curtis, I suggest you get your lads inside and get them some food. Dorms on the right, mess hall on the left. Come on, boys, you heard the gaffer. So you want them toughened up? I want a team, Pete. More importantly, I want a team leader. You know what I think of Stone, but these boys have already got a captain to follow. Now, if Curtis is up for it, fine, but... How hard do you want him pushed? On a scale of one to 10? I'll say 12. <laughs> Bed's facing north, my dance asleep, facing north. You know what, if this is what corporate events are like, I ain't coming again. Lad, why do I have to be by the door? I mean, I'm gonna freeze. This is meant to be a training camp, not prison camp. Yeah, the way we're stuck at this club, it might as well be prison. The only one in this club who knows how to have a good time, do you know that? Yeah, well, I mean, a physio I've had to go through. I think I deserve some time off. Here's to that. No, well, here's to getting back on that pitch in a fortnight. Oh. And if you need someone to keep you company for a night or two in the meantime. I don't think that that's such a great idea. Do you mind? You're supposed to be mending that leg of yours. Yeah, I can do what I like. Not as if Barker even reckons I'm even a member of this team. So what have I got to lose? Jolie, the bar's closed now. Why don't you go down to security? They'll call you a taxi. Spokes, both. 
Ya. Look. I know it's tough being left behind. But out, Dana. Ryan, as a friend. But out. What do you want? I need a word. Get out. You're not welcome here. Why isn't I hearing that a lot lately? Oh, Chelsea, just listen to me, will you, please? You send my husband off on some scout camp, and you think while he's gone, I'll forget what you did to us. You were supposed to be our friend. I'm only here to ask you to keep an eye on Ryan. If he comes in, don't let him drink so much. Water down his drinks if you must. Ryan's a big boy. Why does he need you playing dad? Because his dad can't. Look, Bach has left him here all on his own. He's lonely, he's not playing, and he doesn't know when he's likely to play. I thought his leg was healing. Yeah, when I checked his file, he's got an x-ray tomorrow. God only knows what that'll say. You know what it's like when George can't play. The difference is, he's got you. Yeah. Ryan's got no one right now. Just look out for him. That's all I ask. Are you sure you want them drinking? I mean, for the training tomorrow, the lads won't be at their best if they're hungover. Carlos, you're their captain. You know these boys better than I do. Now, if you think they don't know their limits, you better tell me now. Nah. Nah, they'll be fine. Don't worry, Bish is going to toughen you up. I don't think so. Are you deaf? Can you hear that whistle? I want you all outside and I want you dressed and I want it five minutes ago. Um, listen, we only went to bed a couple of hours ago. Number! What? Squad number! 30. Sir! 30, sir. Congratulations, number 30. Looks like you got your first test right. Let's see if you can keep up the good work. You got two minutes to get into that mess tent, and I want this place spotless. There's inspection later. Where's number nine? What's the problem, Captain? Never heard of setting a good example. Rise and shine! Eighteen! Twenty! Good work, number four. I could do it more like you. Seven. All right, all right. I'm coming. Sorry, didn't mean to hurry Sorry, you. I thought you were a taxi. Um, you first. I hear you've got checkup today. And you've been speaking to Dean. Yeah, look, I don't like what he's done either. He was right about one thing. You can't drive with that leg. I've come to give you a lift. Yeah, well, that's why they invented taxis. Mine never turns up. Yeah. You already came. I sent him away. Charles? So you let me drive you or not? Do I have a choice? Nope. <laughs> Two teams. Twenty sandbags. On them, up that hill as fast as you can get them. You're kidding. On two hours kip after a big night? <laughs> Come on. If I wasn't so hungover, I'd be drunk. What were you doing drinking? You need to be training this morning. Hey, Gaffer organised the beer. It's called self-discipline number 30. Extra training after breakfast. Maybe that'll help you learn it. <sighs> number nine, you're captain. I want you heading up the first team. Four, do your stuff with the other. Five minutes to pick teams, then you'll start on my whistle. Good luck, boys. I'll take fifth, number one. 31. 20. 42. Is your shoulder going to hold doing this? It's going to have to, isn't it? 14. Number seven. You're with me. Claire's not exactly been on top form this morning. Let the other team carry him. 
Number five. Me, 18. Come on, you know me, I can do this. 30. Get into position. All right, Millsy, can you man the power? I need you picking up the bags and chucking it to the next man in line. Jaws, you next. Clyde, Sully, I want you up near top. Get ready to catch. You're going to need to dig yourself in to get stabilised. All right, Ammo? All right, let's go. OK, get in your places. Come on. 18, further up the hill, half wicks. Because you ain't want to sell us in further up the hill. 31, 7, straight to the middle of the line. All right. When I say this fish are more hacked up than the other one. Come on, last two, last two! That tastes as good as it looks. You better believe it. So, where do we queue? Your queue's over there. <laughs> what is this? Look, man, we just done some serious exercise. We need some proper food. You expect the reward for coming last? Not only. I've just been sick. What do you think? I think it's an insult to the cook. This is cooked. Oh, shut up, mate, all right? Do you want to get us into more trouble? Eat it. You know what? I'm a professional footballer, yeah? I don't have to do anything that I don't want to. Is that right? That's right, yeah. Not getting up at the crack of dawn. Not lugging sandbags, yeah? And not eating this slop, yeah? You know what? He's risking my health. Yeah, that's breaking my contract. So I don't have to stay at this club, and I definitely don't have to stay here. I'll sort it. That's not for you to sort. That's the captain's job. Not right, Curtis. Clyde, wait. Clyde! Oh, don't do this, man. What exactly am I losing, Curtis? The chance to play out of position in the championship under that little Hitler, what? The chance to play Champions League. You know what? Yes, mate, yes. Yeah, you're right. You don't care. Because it's always about you, isn't it? Here we go. You walk away now, he wins. 
I don't give a monkeys what he thinks. And what about what the boys think? What the rest of football will reckon when they hear that you walked out on a championship club because you couldn't hack it? Maybe I can't hack it. It's only two days, man. How tough can it be? <sighs> right, for me. How many times have I helped you out? Me stopping for you was the whole reason why we even came last. Don't walk out on my watch. Stay for me. Thanks for the lift. You don't need to wait. We should have someone here, just in case. In case what? It's bad news. I could be ages. You go. Get a taxi back. back. I'll wait. Oh. Oh, whatever. Ryan Naismith, sorry to have kept you waiting. Um, Dr. Hughes asked me to give a second opinion on today's x-rays. So, what's the word? I mean, I'm feeling much stronger, obviously. Putting loads more weight through it. When can I get rid of these? Well, maybe you should sit down. Just because you can put weight on that leg, Ryan, doesn't necessarily mean that you should. What do you mean? Well, I'm sorry to say your leg is not progressing as we would have hoped. I'm practically walking on it. Well, the x-rays show that the break is healing, but not as quickly as we would have expected. So, well, what does that mean? How, how much longer is it going to take? Well, it's hard to predict. Um, all I can say is it could take anything from a further two weeks to another month after that. So I could be like this six weeks from now? They told me I'll be back on the pitch by September. I think you're going to have to rethink that time scale. Number 30. It all looks in order. Almost impressive. What's that? What is that? It's a bread roll. A bread roll, sir! And where did you get it from? The kitchen, sir. You walked out of breakfast. I thought you weren't hungry. But you took this anyway. Are you soft? No, sir. I'll repeat the question. Let's give it to the floor. Is number 30 soft? Is number 30 soft? You're the yes, softy. he is, sir! Well, at least your captain knows what you are. Inspection over. Okay, who fancies a game of football? Yeah. Okay, lads, now listen. We conceded a very soft goal in our last league game. Our wall collapsed. Now, a wall is only as strong as its weakest link. So if no one flinches, if no one shows fear, that ball is going nowhere. And that is what we are aiming for. After all, if we don't concede any goals, no one can beat us. OK, Curtis, Stone, Ammo, you're taking free kicks. The rest of you, you're the wall. Come on, Valentine. Don't be shy, son. Oh, no, that's right. You're the brave one, aren't you? Well, you must be, because no one else in this team gives me half as much lip as you. Go on, you get in the middle. Curtis, I want you to shoot dead centre of the wall. What? Shoot at the wall. It's the wall we're testing here. Know your skill. It's a big enough target. You shouldn't have any trouble. Yeah. 
You're going to be here all night. Gaffer, I'm sorry, but I don't see your point. I'm never going to fight shots at Tommy in a war. Maybe not. But every opposition we play will be wanting to do just that. So we have to make sure he can take it. If you want to be his captain, it's your responsibility to toughen him up. Gaffer, why don't I show him how it's done? Be my guest. Leave it. You go over there now, you just make things worse. Get down, Jones! Gaffer. Yeah? The boys listen to me because they respect me. I mean, it's a bit... Unfair? On who? There's something you need to learn. You're too nice. Everybody's friend. Always trying to help people out. You think that makes you a leader of men? It doesn't. It makes you a patsy. People use you. You want someone to do something? Don't ask. Tell. You want someone to follow you? Then you make sure they know what it's like when they don't. Now, if there's a leader hiding somewhere inside of you, then this is his last chance to come out. Because after this training camp, I will be making changes. Day is quite enough. You didn't come back. And I told you I would be a while. I thought you might have gone. Right, you know, if you've got a problem, you can talk to me about it. Oh, what? Give me a. You think you know it all, don't you? You and Dina. Well, you can both get lost. Because I don't need you, I don't need your help, or you're listening. I don't need anything at all. Five. One. Seven. Thirty-one. Let's get a decent man today, yeah? Three. There. Looks like you're with me. The circuit's marked. The winning team's the first to finish. Just doing 10 miles today, lads. At least this is doable. With those on your backs. Come on, boys, let's go. Help you work off those extra bread rolls.
You're due at the gym, aren't you? Like it matters. If there's one time it matters, it's now. It's like with Viv, when things go wrong for him, routine is his support system. If you let that routine go, let's just say I know about this sort of thing. Come on, boy! Come on! Come on! Pace yourself, Connolly! Come on, boy! Stay tight! Come on! Come on! Don't let him leave us! Keep going! Keep together! Come on! Connolly, slow down! Guys! This isn't too much for them. I mean, they can all handle it, right? You're turning a group of lads into a team. You don't give them an exercise they can all handle. Your average championship game isn't something all of these lot can handle. But what if someone gets hurt? Running. These lads run every day. They get tired, yeah, but injured. I don't think so. Well, ladies, do you want to eat fries again for dinner? No! Do you? No! Well, let's get moving. I'll feed it to myself. Come on! Come on! Come on, boys, keep up the pace! Come on! Leave him, Valentine! What? Leave him! Feels good, right? Better. What is that? I didn't even know you had muscles there to exercise. <laughs> probably done. Oh. Oh. Your turn. Go on. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, that's not fair. You've had more practice. <sighs> Maybe I'm not cut out for this. Chelsea Wright giving up. Doesn't sound like you. Yeah, you either. I'm glad you came out this morning. Might take longer than you thought, but you will be back on that pitch this season. Just got to aim for that. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's just until then, though, you know, when you're not training or, or in the team, you become invisible. No. I mean, I've already missed out on Euro 2004 because of this stuff. Yeah, now I'm not even playing first division. I know how much football means to you. You've got other things in your life. Friends, family. Dad, I can't even contact. You know, I don't even know what name he's calling himself now. What about girlfriends? You seeing anyone? No, I'm not. How come? A guy like you? I would have thought you had girls climb all over themselves to get to you. You're cute, talented, not exactly poor. Yeah, well, I never really met the right one. Look, I'm. I'd better go. Viv would probably kill me if he saw us now. I'm allowed to have friends, Ryan. Ryan. Chelsea. Dean said I'd find you around here, but, um, didn't realise you'd have company. Jodie, what can we do for you? I've been asked to organise a night with the girls while my dad's away with the team. He thought dinner at Studs might be nice. I can organise the food if you can supply the drinks. Deal? Deal. Oh, and Ryan, I know it's a girls' night, but I'm sure we can make room just for you. I don't think so. <laughs> you should know me by now, Ryan. I don't take no for an answer. I don't think you're escaping that easily. You leave it with me for an evening and I swear I'll break your other leg. <laughs> so harsh. Come on! Why are your panties run? 
My eagle! My eagle! No, come on, Tyson! Come on, man! Yes! Gap off! <laughs> Only four? You lost one, Frank. Not like you. What? Well, where's Clyde? A little... Connolly! Does he even count? You know the rules. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. Come on, boys! Bobby, can you see the boys? Is that all of them? All of that team. Alexander, Stone's still waiting on someone. Looks like you're the winner. Yes, yes, yes! yes. yes. Okay, boys, playtime's over, then you go. Gerald, what's going on? He's exhausted, it was too much for him. And you decided to help him finish? Conley, get in there, no. Don't walk out on my watch. How many times have I helped you? What happened back there, man? Hey? Why did you leave me there? Because you weren't on my team. It was Stone's responsibility. You brought me back here. Didn't that make me responsible at all? Huh? Oh, me and you. Oh, we're supposed to be friends. We are. You're letting him do this to me, man. Does that sound like friendship to you? Hmm? Hey, babe, you alright? Yeah. Hello, darling. Oh, you look wicked. Oh, thank I'll you. I'll see you in a minute. How's the chef doing? Very well, considering how much my brandy is drunk. Ryan! Good to see you decided to come after all. Now I have saved you the head of the table. <clears throat> Sophia, I hadn't realised you'd be coming. Yeah, well, you did say it was a ladies' night, so I, I didn't think anyone would mind. Cool. Oh, do all the support we can get. Someone has got to have a good David Beckham story. Sophia, you must have heard something through the grapevine. Sorry to disappoint, but I mean, it's not as if I could tell you, even if I had. What? Of course you could. What footballer's gonna let me represent them if I go around spreading gossip like that? Very honourable. Well, if no one's telling tales, just have to find another icebreaker. Anyone here played Mary Shag Kill? Sophia, let's start with you. David Beckham, Michael Owen, and Tommy Valentine. You can marry one, shag one, and kill one. Which is which? Like I said, Jodie, I wouldn't marry, shag, or kill them. I'd represent them. Come on! Wouldn't have to be public knowledge. There are some things you can keep a secret. Are there? God, I wouldn't know. I guess I'm just not as familiar as some people with broom cupboards. What time's the food get? <laughs> oh, thank you, God. Sausages. Don't want me not to come to yours for dinner, yeah? You having good, man? You right, boy? Love that, love that. No, man. No, no, mate. Straight up and down. Speaking to the wrong people. Hey, big man. They almost seem to be enjoying it now, eh? Yeah. Now they are. I don't get it. Why are you doing this? Meaning? I want to build people up, not knock them down. 
You do that on a football pitch. It won't be a nice breakfast you'll be losing out on. It'll be promotion back to the Premiership. But the ends don't justify the means. You sure about that? How do you think you won today? You forced your men to take responsibility for their own performances. You covered for no one. Everyone was supposed to do their own job. You let the weak fall by the wayside. So, Chelsea. If you had to spend the night with someone on the team, who would it be? I'm hardly going to tell you in front of their wives. Cheat. Come on, Ryan. What about you? Uh, well, um, sleep with someone on the team. Stupid. Anyone around this table, if no one's husband was going to find out, who would you most like to spend a night of passion with? Right. You can tell us. I bet there's more than one person around this table that wouldn't mind a piece of you. You've seen him down the gym? Give us the lowdown. Tell us about those abs, that six pack. Nothing to tell. Ryan, did you hear that? Talk about slow on your manhood. Guess we'll have to find out ourselves. Come on then. Take your shirt off. Ryan, 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 Ryan. 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 Good morning. Glad to see you all looking a bit brighter today. This is your last morning, and Mr. Fisher and I have one more challenge before we go. Pete? You'll be in two teams again, led by numbers four and nine. But you boys don't get to do the choosing today. Numbers one, three, 14, 20, and 31. You're with Stone. Numbers five, seven, 18, 42, and 30. You're with Alexander. Today, we'll be visiting an army assault course. And before you start wondering about the winner's reward, I will be using it to determine who deserves a first team place in my squad and in what roles. Just let me say that this course will be using all the skills that you have learned. <laughs> Go now! Come on! 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 Come on!
it, y'all. Move it. You're in your head. You're gonna make up for that time you lost, all right? Don't stop. We're winning, team. You're not gonna stop us. Come on. Wait now. Come on. Let's go. Come on, class. Don't give it on me now. I've got you faster than this. Come on. Let's go. Look at the guys ahead of us. Get down here. I'm ready. Give it a sprint. Come on. That's it. Move. What the hell are you waiting for? Move it, Clyde! Move it! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! What are you doing taking a rest? Get moving! Come on! You just made us loose! Do it now, Clyde! Get moving! Look at me when I'm talking to you! I can't! I'm gonna have to help him. Leave him! The boy needs toughening up. But if you keep carrying him, you'll be nothing more than a liability to the team. Now what's more important to you? Conley or the club? Because if it's Conley, I should be taking that captain's armband off you. I'm not coming up there for you, Clyde. Everyone else has done it. You gotta do it too. Now pick up your foot. Pick up your foot. Now get down here and finish this course! Well done, big man. Okay, lads. Playtime's over. Mrs. Wright. Hello, I'm Mr. Gilson. Um, what's the news? Well, it's uh, not good, I'm afraid. The fall did do considerable damage, and we're going to have to operate. We're going to insert a steel pin into the leg so that the bone heals correctly. And what's that mean for his playing career? Another setback. And another month on crutches. I'm so sorry. Ryan, I came as soon as I heard. Chelsea. I thought I asked you to look after them. Then I hear you've dragged them to some party. What the hell were you thinking? I didn't mean to. No, look, it wasn't her fault. It was mine. I was trying to take some stairs too fast, you know? Thought I was doing better than I was. It happens. Well, I can't believe you were so careless. You've lost a month of your playing career because of this. Okay, boys, you're all on your way home. Back to your creature comforts, your girlfriends and your peers. Now trust me, they're all going to taste much sweeter after the two days you've just had. So did you all hate training camp? Yeah. Did you all hate training camp? Yeah! Good. Because if you hadn't have hated it, it wouldn't have been worth anything getting through it. And you did. Well, most of you. Now, the purpose of this trip was to get you to look at yourselves, to work out your strengths and your weaknesses, and where you need work, and to build a team, and a team leader. Someone that's going to get us to the Premiership next season. And we found that man. Curtis, where you go, big man? Yeah. 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 Never. Coming soon on Dream Team. Did you sleep with Dad? And? He's playing me against Barcelona. Want me to go easy? Unlucky, mate, unlucky. <laughs> How about we forget the gym? <laughs>